Yeah, I've, re I've retweeted uh, a, a, a link I did to a slide. Um, this was one of the one of the interesting ones. Well, the, they were all interesting, but this is especially interesting to me. Uh, from uh, fract Fractaloid Convo, if to find on on Twitter, uh, but you'll you'll find all the real all the real names. This was a presentation at the conference about um, attention spans and times that are known for paying attention. So a TV series episode, 25 to 45 minutes, a YouTube video, three to 10 minutes, Instagram, 30 seconds to one minute, and a TikTok video, 17 to 35 seconds. Uh, so that ties in with um, one of the videos. So there were, there were presentations over Zoom, but also YouTube videos, of which mine was one, but there was a, another one about Gen, Gen, Generation Z and TikTok and music marketing through that uh, setup, and it's it's a, it's a bit of a mystery to me. I I do I do um, think there are generational divides or differences. One I know I know there is Edinburgh objection to the digital native, di digital um, immigrant kind of distinction. So I can see that pe le lecturers, people who are supposed to be teaching are assumed to have the knowledge. So that's one, one way of looking at it. But I think actually different, different age groups do have different assumptions or different things people get used to. So I think I'm probably stuck with this um, three to 10 minutes YouTube attention span possibly a bit longer i think i think a, most most of the videos as as part of this conference were going for about 20 minutes so i would say 10 10 to 20 minutes on youtube is is about where where i'm at um which i've I, my so my question in my my tweet is whether academics or anybody offering learning has has realized this so that YouTube lengths should be broken down. You, you can put a sort of contents feature into, into a, a, a YouTube video, which, which sort of shows up in, in, along the bottom of it in certain ways, but I think it's probably better to break it down in, into shorter sections and put it all into a playlist um, as a way of communicating something. But that, I think that's something to come come back to. I'm I'm hoping all all the people in the um, in the conference and around it, when things turn up on on YouTube and Twitter, will will come up with uh, more more aspects of this. Uh, 